Usually, when we increase saturation, it is an additive method. Let me demonstrate what I mean. For example, when we add a vibrance adjustment and increase the saturation, notice what happens in the RGB parade. More red is added to the image. Instead of a vibrance adjustment, we can also use an HSL adjustment to increase the saturation. Notice again how the reds are increased in the image, which confirms that increasing the saturation using these methods is an additive action. A simple way of doing a subtractive saturation increase is by switching from the HSL model to the HSV model in the HSL adjustment dialog. If we now increase the saturation, the saturation is increased by not adding color to the image, but by subtracting color. In this case, the green and the blues are lowered to increase the saturation. But the real magic happens when we change the color format of the document from RGB8 to RGB32 and use a technique which resembles saturation increase in a film. I can now duplicate the image and add an HSL adjustment. In the HSL adjustment I will again switch to the HSV model and decrease the saturation to zero leaving a black and white image. Before moving on, let's make sure the HSL adjustment we just created is a child of the duplicated layer. If we now change the blend mode of this layer to subtract, we get a black image. The reason for this is that we now have removed all the brightness information from the image, leaving only the color. There is still information there. However, because of the subtract action, the pixels have a negative value and this was actually the reason why we needed to change the document color format to RGB32, as negative pixel values are not available in the other color models. If we now duplicate this layer with the HSL adjustment and change the blend mode of it to add, we get our starting image back as we have just added back the brightness information. The cool part is now that we can subtract more than we're going to add. To do that, I can just add a curves adjustment in the subtracted layer, just above the HSL adjustment. I can now increase the highlights, or in other words, the gain, to subtract more from the image. The layer on top will add the default brightness back with as a result that we got an amazing and natural looking increase in saturation. I will merge this layer so we have a comparison snapshot and then apply to a new layer the HSV saturation increase so we can compare both of the methods. You have to agree with me that the subtract and add method has a much better result. If you're interested in what is exactly happening, check out the link in the description for a more detailed explanation on how this works. Before leaving you, a quick reminder. If you convert your document back to RGB8, make sure you do a merge visible or render the result, so that you don't lose the saturation change. Thanks again for tuning in and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Until the next video.